And Maggie Blackwell is with you right now from United. She is their board secretary. Good right. morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you. And uh, what is on your message today about United? Okay, I'm uh, United. not a secretary today. <laughs> I'm the landscape committee okay. chair today. All right. <laughs> right, right. And boy, did we have a hot one in July. We had a hot meeting. It was on pesticide use. And our residents are concerned about pesticide use. Of course, sure. you read every week in the newspaper about something else that's cancer causing and toxic mm -hmm. and whatever and whatever. And pet owners have noticed that they think their doggies are getting sick more right. and they have sore paws and things like that. And so they're thinking that it is potentially these, these dangerous chemicals mm -hmm. in our sure. areas that are occurring. So um, we had a landscape meeting specifically for pesticide use. Okay. This is for United only, although the audience did have several third members in here and some other people mm -hmm. from outside also. Uh, we manage in the landscape division totally over 2,000 acres of landscaped areas and the total budget for the entire landscape is in excess of $20 million. So it's not a small wow. enterprise. Wow, and now that's for everyone. That's for all three yeah. of us, right. Okay. Uh, for United, we have 100 cul-de-sacs, and each cul-de-sac has about 100 units mm -hmm. in it of one type or another, you know, foursomes, threesomes, twosomes, yeah. whatever. And so we have a large amount of green areas and a large amount of smaller areas and pathways around. Uh, we use pesticides, but we have only used for, for we ha are totally within all the guidelines. We are so careful. Uh, we have pesticides registered with the EPA and specifically with the California Department of Pesticide Regulation. There is a pest control advisor on staff who's licensed, and we use only the integrated pest management practices, always, always. Now that doesn't yeah. necessarily mean you can drink our stuff like right. iced tea, okay? Um, we currently use the five most current products are also, of course, on every, eco-friendly person's hot list. Right. We use Roundup, and this is for non-selective control of weeds and mm -hmm. grasses in shrub beds and open space. This is used to edge around the trees, around boxes, and things like that. This product only carries a caution word, and according to the EPA, is a low toxicity product. Well, people are afraid that that really hasn't been tested mm -hmm. as well as they think it should, and it's a fairly new product, so they, they're fearing that there are going to be much greater repercussions. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Re-entering the areas where it is applied is considered to be safe for humans or pets once the product has dried. Okay. Now, wherever we apply pesticides, Roundup or these others, we put little flags out to warn the dog mm -hmm. walkers and people with children that no one should be walking in that area. In that You can walk on the sidewalk, but don't be walking on the turf or the bush areas or anything like that during that time. Okay. We have, for notification, we, we have a phone number that you can call. We have a listing on the website which has all the buildings that will be handled and the cul-de-sacs that will be handled each week. And then we have that list also on the website and um, in the breeze we put right. it. Right, yeah, and so we there's do several email sources. It out. So there are many sources for you to do it. And we do hope that dog walkers adjust their walks. Some of them are blaming the pesticides. And my question is, are you staying away from those areas and mm -hmm. stay away longer. Mm -hmm. um, we are thinking of making the flag time many hours longer to okay. be absolutely, absolutely, absolutely So the certain. flags are put out and then they are retrieved after, after, after the time passes. After it has okay. been dried 
and he's gone off and done somewhere else. And okay. After one or two other places, he comes back and removes okay. all of the flags in that area. Well, we're thinking of maybe waiting uh, one or two sprinkler cycles mm -hmm. or several more hours okay. or something. We're thinking of <clears throat> making that adjustment to mark that off just to be sure. Mm -hmm. And that would be careful. Uh, turf lawn is another one. That's for the grassy ones. Broadleaf grasses in broadleaf weeds in warm mm -hmm. season turf. It's used for control of the weeds in Kikuya grass, which seems like weed itself. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any difference? Uh, yes, right. I have right, Kikuya right. grass, so I know. <laughs> right, right. According to Turflon, is only a caution warning either. And so that's a low toxicity product, and everybody sits there and says, oh, yeah, you know. Sedge hammer is another one. That's for control of yellow nut sedge, a noxious weed, unique and not controllable with traditional herbicides. Okay. Fusilade is a specialty herbicide to eradicate grassy weeds growing in ground cover or shrub areas without harming desirable plants. And the last one we use is barricade. That's to prevent weed seed germination Okay. In shrub beds. So, the, so if we get out barricade first, mm -hmm. then we hope we won't have to be using the other And what's stuff. the caution for that? Is that listed on there? It doesn't say. Okay. It doesn't say. Okay, now, uh, in 2015, we were concerned about this at the end of 2015. So in August of 2015, the end of August, we said to United mm -hmm. Landscape, we said, Let's try three cul-de-sacs, no herbicides. Okay. And so we tried that for 16 months. At the meeting of February 2017, we looked at the results, and they'll curl even my hair. Okay. The weeding time it took for our workers mm -hmm. to handle the non-herbicided cul-de-sac was six times longer wow. per cul-de-sac. So it isn't like it's, oh, only two or whatever. Six times longer, when you figure how long it takes, we can only get to a cul-de-sac perhaps nine times a year, which is what we're aiming yeah. for. Well, if we make it six times longer for them when right. they get there, they're going to get to you maybe twice a year, if that. Yeah. Uh, we would le need, for sure, at least two teams. We're already short one team, mm -hmm. which is why we're dragging a little bit. And, and if we do this, we'll be short two teams. Okay. So that is really frightening. <clears throat> but we're going to see what we can do. Um, the organic alternative to Roundup, this is an option we're considering, okay. costs 14 times more, only kills the leafy part of the plant. Mm -hmm. So bingo, you do that, the thing is dead for a week, boop, and it comes up again. So you have to keep right. <laughs> spraying it over and over and over and over again. This would be tedious and, and laborsome on the spraying side and so on and so on, and not that much better. Mm -hmm. It's made of rosemary oil and various salt breaks products, but that's why it only kills the top of the leaf yeah. and nothing else. That's like, um, I use vinegar at home, and yeah. vinegar will do the same thing. However, it just out. kills the leaves and it dries it out. And if the sprinklers go on the next day, well, it washes away whatever vinegar I put on. Exactly. Right, right. Although sometimes I put it on the, the salad, the, the lettuce I'm growing. I'm all set. Oh, I know it. I'm no, ready to go. It's very good on it. the lettuce. There we right, go. right. <laughs> yeah, right. For, for organic, for turf lawn, that's the grass. Mm -hmm. The alternative is Fiesta, which just has low effectiveness, also requires many applications. Cost of Fiesta is 10 times more than turf lawn. Mm -hmm. uh, for the other three, there is no alternative, okay. no organic alternative at all. So you can go out and put baking soda on it or coffee or whatever, it's not going to work. There's okay. nothing that will work. Um, 
We are hoping that improved notification, posting, and supervision of areas treated will help eliminate exposure of members and their pets. Uh, we want you to be very careful about that. We uh, are going to, for United, we are going to have another meeting August 9th, and we're, we ordered the landscape department to come up to see a further analysis, specifically eliminating the use of Roundup. Okay. That is the one that everybody is most afraid of. Mm -hmm. And as it is used only, it's only one of our five, we will see what we can do about that. But then again, if we don't get the labor somehow, right? we're, we're just talking in the air. You yeah. know? If we can't get the weeds controlled for you somehow or another, members will really be screaming, and rightly so, because it's our job to yeah. keep the areas looking nice. So the staff is working very hard trying to devise all new ways of luring workers over here. Our, our work pool is so small for that level of worker. Right. And yeah. they're all outside, maybe further, further, further south. There's, mm -hmm. there's some workers and so on. But we get a lot of workers out of Santa Ana now, but that's quite a drive. Yeah. But we will see what we can do. And they'll make the adjustments. They'll make a, a try with several ideas so that we can come up with some adjustments to decrease our level of toxicity of the herbicides we spray. Now, in part of last year, they tried using less herbicide on everything. And last year, the residents were screaming it was really bad. Of course, it was bad, too, because last year was the wet year. And we would spray yeah, last year. And bingo, the rain would come down and wash it all away. Yeah. And so we need to have good luck with weather. <laughs> and we need a labor supply. High school students who want to work a, a part time, <laughs> I don't know who's going to come. But we do need a labor supply, or we're just kidding ourselves. Um, then we'll just be overgrown. We'll have to just plow everything over, which would be extremely expensive yeah. to do also. <clears throat> so it's just a really tricky question. I'd urge everyone to monitor the herbicide schedules very closely with whatever source you use and be careful. All right, very good. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we can spray some vinegar on some lettuce oh, and have a salad. you can go out and do vinegar. You can even spray a little coffee. One, it just sprays coffee, so. <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back.